You're tuned into the first newscast devoted to the Highland Lakes area. Local team coverage on Tribune Headline News. Bringing you the stories you care about now. Hi everyone, I'm Connie Swinney. This is the Picayune TV. You're watching us on Northland Channel 15. Here's a look at the stories we've been working on. The Marble Falls Economic Development Corporation is looking for some guarantees about possible job creation from an alternative car maker leasing one of its buildings. Heartfelt assistance from the Lady Mustangs volleyball team will tell you how they're helping families devastated by recent brush fires. Those stories, plus the list of local 9-11 anniversary events coming up. But first, it's all clear for just about all brush fire evacuees to go back to their property as crews continue to contain the Spicewood area wildfire. We've told you about the continuing effort by churches and other volunteers to assist the families. Local law enforcement are volunteering their time and offering distribution centers as well. My husband actually, he lost his house in 08 to a fire and so that's why we just said we're going to do this and you know luckily we work here at the sheriff's office so we had a good central location for people to do it. Dozens of houses were damaged and in some cases destroyed as the 6,000 acre fire ignited and raced through the Spicewood area during the Labor Day weekend. Firefighters are still battling hot spots. In our next headline, we have a roundup of the latest activities by the Marble Falls Economic Development Corporation. First, EDC board members are looking for a so-called performance agreement with the Ron Motor Company, an alternative automobile maker. The business moved into the renovated old candle factory just off Colt Circle in Marble Falls. The company leases part of the facility which the EDC owns. Basically what a performance agreement does is says, you know, this is what the prospect, the business prospects are going to do, this is how many jobs they're going to bring uh, to the city, and these are the other things we're going to do in return for the incentives. The incentives have essentially been provided already through the lease, and so it's a question of nailing down the realistic expectations for the number of jobs that will be created. Ron Motors designs and markets environmentally friendly sports cars powered by hydrogen fuel cells. The company has not yet begun manufacturing any components at the local site. Coming up later, a group of athletes launches an effort to spread goodwill and help those affected by the recent brush fire. Enjoy it while you can. Highs stay in the mid-90s for the weekend before hitting triple digits again. Details later in your forecast. We are established. We are qualified. We are certified. We are knowledgeable. We are dependable. We are Ken's Heating and Air. Our people make the difference. Welcome back. More relief from triple-digit temperatures in the next few days, but what about any rain chances? Jared Fields has more. Hello everyone. Connie, the weather for high school football games should be perfect Friday night. Of course, the big Marble Falls Burn It game is at Bulldog Stadium Friday night, and the Faith Flames are at Fredericksburg. As for the rest of the weekend, we'll have highs in the mid-90s. Here's the rest of your Highland Lakes forecast for Northland 15 and the Picune TV. Friday, we'll have sunny skies with a high near 93. Winds will be calm, becoming north-northeast at 5 to 10 miles an hour. And then Friday night will cool down to a low of 56 degrees with mostly clear skies. North winds still calm of around just 5 miles an hour. Saturday, sunny skies with a high near 95. Winds out of the north, 5 to 10 miles an hour. And then Saturday night, mostly clear with a low around 60. Sunday, we warm up a little bit again with a high of 96. North northwest winds between 5 and 10 miles an hour. And then Sunday night will cool down to a low of 63. It'll warm up next week. But we'll have those details for you whenever that gets here. Have a great day and a great weekend, everyone. For Northland 15 and the Picune TV, I'm Jared Fields. Thanks, Jared. Jennifer Fierro has the Friday night football update for you after the break. It's the annual Battle of Burnett County. We're going to get you all ready for Friday night's big contest between the Mustangs and the Bulldogs coming up in sports. Coach Larry Berkman takes a hands-on approach to coaching and he takes that same approach to handling your car. 
So join Coach's team and give your car, truck, or boat the MVP treatment at Coach Wash, where our customers call the plays. 48, 38, and 10. That is the series numbers when you talk about Burnett and Marble Falls and football. The Bulldogs, of course, lead the overall series, but Marble Falls is looking to close the gap. Did do some things a little different this week when we caught up with head coach Cord Warner of the Mustangs. Here's what he had to say. We, we're ready to win another ball game. You know, uh, the fact that it's Burnett, it's great. Uh, but, but we're ready to win another ball game. What we got to do is we've got to make sure that we stay within ourselves in what we do. And uh, it's great to be excited and we will be fired up to be on the field. Uh, at the same time, we've got to remain focused enough to do our jobs when we get on the field. And it's a balance. Of course, this year's annual matchup is going to be at Bulldog Field Friday night with kickoff at 730. So if you plan to go, a word of advice, make sure you leave early enough to get decent parking. As we all know, this game literally draws thousands from the county. That's it for sports. I'm Jennifer Fierro. Connie, back to you. Jennifer, thanks. We also want to mention that the Marble Falls volleyball team has joined the brush fire relief effort. The Lady Mustangs have decided to help the Lake Travis volleyball team in a fundraiser. They heard the Lady Cavs were gathering water and Gatorade for victims and emergency personnel and asked their coach if they could participate. They can bring it here or give it to one of our kids or what might be easier is to donate cash and then we'll go purchase it for them. Okay. So what, whatever they feel you know, that they want to contribute or however they want to contribute, I, I think it's such a devastating event. Our kids have been very touched by it and the kids actually brought it to my attention that they wanted to do something. I wasn't aware of this. So I, I just am so fortunate to be around children like that. The Lady Mustangs will travel to face the Lady Cavs at 630. That's this Friday night. Before the contest starts, the players will give the supplies to their opponents in the spirit of sportsmanship and friendship. Now you can drop off items today at the Max Copeland Gym at the high school. Sunday, September 11th marks the 10th anniversary of the terrorist attack on the World Trade Center. Here's a list of local events. A 9-11 musical tribute is scheduled at 7 p.m. on Saturday and Sunday, September 10th and 11th at First United Methodist Church in Marble Falls. Some of the performances are by John Arthur Martinez, The Only Time Dancers, and the Highland Lakes Honor Guard. Tickets are $10 and they benefit the Hill Country 100 Club. In Spicewood, the Tea Party is hosting a patriotic rally from 2 to 4 p.m. that Sunday, September 11th at the Spicewood Community Center. Guests include Sergeant Sam Cox of KLBJ AM, retired military service members also. You can go to the website on your screen for more information. And a 9-11 anniversary memorial is planned by the Marble Falls Noon Rotary Club. That's at 2 p.m. Sunday, September 11th at the flagpole at Lakeside Park in Marble Falls. You can see the address there on your screen. Those were your headlines. Thanks for watching. For the Picayune TV, I'm Connie Swinney.